This might be one of the best value for coins SBCs that EA have released all year and you must complete it. As part of the Shapeshifters promo, EA went ahead and released a new 94 rated Striker Vitinha card and it got me thinking, is this the best striker currently available to us on FIFA? Before we get started, I want you to remember these two words, versatility and unpredictability. Don't worry, it'll make sense a little later on. Well firstly, let's take a look at Vitinha's basic info. He's got 5 star skill moves, something that I think, especially in those higher ELO games, is necessary if you want to go on and create enough chances to win games. Partner in that, he's got 4 star weak foot which can bring about a sense of versatility and unpredictability about his play as he can shift onto either foot prior to a shot. And finally, he's 5 foot 8, has the lean body type and the explosive accelerate type as well, which means he is going to feel untouchable in game. Not to mention that he represents a top 5 nation in Portugal and plays for a top 5 league team in PSG. This means that he's going to be able to link to some of the most meta cards on the game right now, such as Kylian Mbappe and Rafael Leal. Coming into the actual in-game stats now, the ones that stand out for me are the 96 agility, 90 finishing and 94 shot power. Having such high agility relates back to that feeling of him being untouchable and if you're someone who utilises left stick dribbling then it's going to be very very hard to take the ball off him. But of course we want to determine his ability to play as a striker and having those high shooting stats definitely helps. His shooting inside the box is going to feel all but perfect and if you're someone who can utilise green time shooting then it's going to be very rare that you miss an opportunity with this guy. And even if you feel like his shooting isn't quite up to scratch, if you put a chemistry style on him such as finisher, it'll up both those stats to 99. Not to mention the traits that the Vitinha card does attain. Having the finesse shot trait and the outside of the foot shot trait adds to that level of versatility and unpredictability within the card. It'll give you endless options with regards to how you want to execute an opportunity. Now that's twice that I've mentioned versatility and unpredictability within this video, but what do they actually mean and why are they so important in FIFA? Versatility relates to someone or some things ability to adapt to many different functions and activities. Within this context, because Vitinha has been given stats or traits that add to this versatility, he's going to be efficient no matter the situation, as there's so many different functions that he can carry out. Unpredictability is exactly as it sounds on paper, it is the inability to be predicted. Now because Vitinha can carry out so many different functions, it is simply impossible for your opponent to react to all of them at the same time. Take for example a striker who is only efficient when carrying out finesse shots. Your opponent over time will start to read this very easily and you'll be left with no other options. Or take a striker who is only efficient on their strong foot. Again, your opponent over time is going to notice this and start to combat against it. But the Vitinha card has the ability to carry out both these things and therefore it is unpredictable what action he's going to carry out. Now similar to any SBC, the Vitinha card does have requirements and a time limit on how long you have to complete it. Now at the time of uploading this video, the SBC does only have a few days left, meaning you don't have too much longer to complete the card. But if you do have the coins or the fodder within your club, I would definitely recommend completing this card. The SBC is coming in at around 250,000 coins, but if you have fodder in your club, like mentioned previously, you can knock quite a fair chunk off that. The first segment of the SBC requires you to submit an 86 rated squad with one of the players representing the Portuguese nation. This is coming in around 92,000 coins and if anyone needs help completing this segment, here is the cheapest solution available. The second segment requires you to submit an 88 rated squad with one of the players playing in Ligue 1. This is coming in at around 164,000 coins and again, if anyone needs help completing it, here is the cheapest solution available. Now if we were to compare any card with this Shapeshifters Vitinha, it would probably be Team of the Season, Christopher Nkunku. Now although Nkunku is probably better overall, Vitinha does still have some pretty crucial stats that are actually higher than in Kunku's. Take his overall shooting for example, Vitinha attains 93 shooting, whereas Nkunku attains 91. Not to mention that Vitinha also has better short and long passing, 
better composure and better physicality stats overall. Now the biggest difference between these two cards, Vitinha and Nkunku, is their price. Nkunku is coming in at about 2.6 million coins, whereas Vitinha is coming in at about 250 thousand coins as mentioned previously. Now when you compare the price and stats of these two cards, either Nkunku is extremely overpriced or Vitinha is just an absolute steal and in my opinion, I'm more leaning towards the latter. An insane SBC released by EA and it's going to be a challenge to keep him quiet, but is it as big a challenge as this video right here?